Holy greetings to you all my dear brothers and sisters and dear friends in the matchless and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are praying for you all to be safe and be guided by the God's word. John chapter 8 verse 58 reads like this. Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, before Abraham was I am. Here we can read that Jesus is making a claim with the word I am and he mentions before Abraham was I am. So in the book of John in our study today we are going to look into some of the claims of Jesus using the words I am. So these are very valuable and spiritual words which we have to look into. So first Jesus makes a claim using the word I am that he is the bread of life. I am the bread of life. John chapter 6 verse 35 tells like this and Jesus said to them I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Here Jesus is not speaking about the worldly hungerness or worldly thirst but he is speaking about something very important. He is speaking about the spiritual hungerness and spiritual thirst for which Jesus is the only answer. And here we can read in Matthew, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. So we can clearly see here that Jesus is speaking that I am the bread of life with respect to this like a thirst or hungerness for righteousness. So which fulfills or fu which uh, satisfies the soul. So we can also be fulfilled or satisfied with Jesus, by Jesus, because he is the bread of life. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. So only Jesus can satisfy our spiritual needs. Jesus claims that I am the bread of life, which means only Jesus can satisfy our spiritual needs. We can satisfy ourselves of the worldly needs, but for the spiritual needs, for the needs of the soul, only Jesus can satisfy us and he is the bread of life. Second, we can read from John uh, the claim of Jesus that I am the light of the world. First, we have seen that Jesus is the bread of life and second, here we can see that Jesus is the light of the world. John chapter 8 verse 12 reads like this, Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. All the human beings are in darkness because of sin. Here Jesus truly claims that he is the light of the world because there was no way to escape from sin for the mankind in this world. When Jesus came, he came as a light for this world that he gave the salvation, the light that needed for the mankind to be saved from sin. So here rightly Jesus claims that I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness because darkness is sin, but have the light of life. So Jesus is the light of the world, which means he is the light of life, the light that is needed for life to be saved from sin. We can also read from Ephesians chapter 5 verse 8, for you were once in darkness, which means we were in sin. We were without hope. So for you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. See what a wonderful life we have received through Jesus Christ. He is the light for the world. When we are following that light and when we are saving our souls with the light of the world Jesus Christ, we ourselves are becoming light so that we can save others to lead them to Jesus Christ, the light of the world. For you are once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. So we are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. So we need to walk as children of light. So Jesus is light of this world. And as we follow him, we are light in the Lord. So that we can lead many people who are in darkness to Christ. Only Jesus can give us light for our spiritual growth and direction. We need light to follow a path. We need light to go to a destination. For that, for the spiritual destination, Jesus is the 
only light and the third claim what jesus makes is i am the door in the book of john chapter 10 verse 9 jesus tells i am the door if anyone enters by me he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture so jesus is the bread of life we can be satisfied jesus is the light of the world and we will be led to salvation we will be out of darkness when we follow the light of the world jesus christ and third the claim what jesus is giving is i am the door whoever enters through him will be saved and he will go in and out and find a pasture so we will be satisfied when we are entering the door jesus christ ephesians chapter 2 verse 18 says for through him through this door so for through him we both have access by one spirit to the father through him we have access to the father so jesus is the door who leads us to the father the father in heaven so to be led to the father in heaven we have the only door jesus christ so let us only jesus is the means for our spiritual salvation and security as he is the door because jesus is the door my dear beloved brothers and sisters and dear friends and viewers the fourth claim that lord jesus christ makes in this book of john is that i am the good shepherd jesus is the good shepherd john chapter 10 verse 11 says i am the good shepherd the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep why jesus is called as a good shepherd because this shepherd has given his life for those sheep this we can find nowhere in this world a shepherd giving his life for the sheep but jesus is the shepherd good shepherd who has given himself to save the mankind from the sin so he is the good shepherd who has given his life for the sheep first peter chapter 2 verse 25 reads like this for you were like sheep going astray but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls jesus is the good shepherd who has given life for those sheep and now he is the overseer of our souls and he is the shepherd for our souls so what a privilege we have got being jesus as our shepherd so only jesus is able to sacrifice himself to save us for eternity to enter eternity we are saved by jesus christ and we are satisfied our souls were satisfied because we have received him as a good shepherd the fifth claim what jesus makes in this a book of john is i am the resurrection jesus tells i am the resurrection fifth claim of jesus in the book of uh, john is i am the resurrection john 11 25 says like this jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he may die he shall live so it's a strongest claim i am the resurrection usually man uh, does not have a hope of resurrection but jesus when he came into this world to save the sinners he laid down his life for all the human mankind to save them from the sin and he died in the cross he was buried but he was resurrected this resurrection of jesus christ gives the hope for our resurrection so only jesus claims i am the resurrection we can also read it that in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 20 and 21 but now christ is risen from the dead and has become the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep for since by man came death by man also came the resurrection of the dead so jesus christ the man came the resurrection of the dead without jesus being resurrected we don't have hope we don't have the salvation of sins we don't have the hope of resurrection to be going to heaven so jesus is the resurrection as he claims the sixth claim in john is a very important one much a uh, red statement john chapter 14 6 as it says i am the way the truth and the life jesus is the way the truth and the life we can read that in john 14 6 jesus said to him i am the way the truth and life no one comes to the father except through me no one in this world can go to the heavenly father except through jesus christ because while we committed sin father was not able to be with us and he uh, separated us from him because he cannot live 
with the unholy people with the sinful people so we were separated jesus came and he died in the cross and he made a way for us to be going back again to be with the father so unless otherwise we go through jesus christ we cannot go to the father in heaven so jesus is the way the truth and the life romans 5:11 reads like this and not only that but we also rejoice in god through our lord jesus christ through whom we have now received the reconciliation through jesus christ now we have received the reconciliation with god the father only jesus can bring us back to our creator he appeals to us he appeals jesus appeals to us to follow his way he urges us to hear his truth so that we can reach the god the father through him my dear brothers and sisters and viewers the seventh claim that jesus makes in the book of john is i am the true vine i am the true vine john chapter 15 one says i am the true vine and my father is the wine dresser jesus is the true vine and father is the wine dresser 15:5 reads like this i am the vine you are the branches jesus is the wine he is the wine tree and we are the branches he who abides in me the branch that abides in jesus christ the wine the tree and the i in him if i abide in him then that wine branch no it bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing without jesus we can do nothing in this spiritual life so when we are abiding in jesus christ he is the vine and we are the branches of that vine when we are abiding in jesus christ we can bear much fruit second john verse 9 reads like this whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of christ does not have god so what it means by abiding in the vine as a branch it means we have to abide in the doctrine of christ without that we do not have god he who abides in the doctrine of christ has both the father and the son if we need to have both the father and the son we have to abide in the doctrine of christ only jesus can supply us life through that true vine he pleads with us to have life in him we can have life in jesus christ when we abide in jesus christ thank you for your patience listening here we have seen today seven claims of jesus christ from this book of john he says i am the bread of life i am the light of the world i am the door i am the good shepherd i am the resurrection i am the way the truth and the life finally he says i am the true vine dear viewers if any one of you still have not received the word of god and received the salvation given by jesus christ we invite you to enjoy this blessing from the word of god as we have seen today when we are abiding in the doctrine of christ when we are following the way of christ then we can be satisfied our soul will be satisfied think about this and obey the word of god in the coming days let us pray our father we thank you for this wonderful time of learning your word thank you for the claims of jesus christ which we have seen today from the book of john let us follow the to reach you bless each and every one of the family members who have seen this program and bless their soul in jesus precious name we pray amen be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 Arsradi Madurai 625016 Tamil Nadu For more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you